Hello everybody. Hello, I'm Joanna. And I'm James. And today we're going to show you a wonderful sequence dance called the Sweet Bay Salsa. Uh, this was created by Ian and Sue Webster in 2003 and they still run a very successful school up in Lancashire. So you're, if you're up in that way, go and have a lesson with them sometime soon. Uh, if you're not, don't worry, you can still enjoy lots of their dancing online, including this Sweet Bay Salsa. We're going to take you through the steps of that now. So just to explain the format of how we're going to present it a little bit, we're going to show um, the sequence in three parts broken down first, and we'll learn those three sections. We'll show the leader's role first, and then we'll show the follower's role second for each of those parts. Um, it just makes it a little bit clearer when we're facing particular directions who can see what at the crucial times. So we're going to make a start. Are you ready? Let's do it. Yes. <gasps> Here we go then. So for part one, we're going to start in our normal hold. Leaders, you'll be able to see the screen at the moment. Now, followers, don't worry too much. Leaders are going to take you for a little ride and then we'll break down your steps in a moment. Leaders, you're going to start with your left foot and you're going to dance a side, close, side and a little tap for side, close, side, tap. Now remember, when we've danced a tap, there's no weight on that foot, it's still free. We're going to use that foot now to dance a side, close, side in the opposite direction, and then a little kick. Side, close, side, kick. In that position, there's a sense of being in promenade position now, ready to go down the room. So we're actually heading with the dance in that direction in general here. Now we're going to dance our um, sort of like a little zigzag action for forward, forward, side, and then another little kick with the right foot. This time we're in a counter promenade position, little kick. And then we're going to carry on backward side for backward side. And then we've got one more step to go, step in front. We better run that through again. That was an awful lot, wasn't it? All in one go. So we'll start Come from on, the beginning. We can do it. We can do it, yes. Our normal holds first, leader's left foot. We've got side, close, side, then a tap. Side, close, side, tap and then go in the other direction, side, close, side, little kick. Side, close, side, kick, then we're in promenade. And then we've got forward, forward, side, kick, backward, side, and forward. At the end there, we're just gonna add in a little tap to complete that salsa sort of feel on the end. Okay, we'll do that one more time. And we're nearly at the end of part one, we've just got a tiny little bit more to go on that one. Side, close, side first, and side, close, side, tap, side, close, promenade, kick, forward, forward, side, kick, backward, side, forward, tap. Now from this position, we're going to use a salsa rolling in. So if you've had a look at some of our salsa videos, you'll be ahead of the game here. We're going to dance back, replace, and roll in for back, replace, and roll in. And then we'll dance for the leaders, are forward and replace and roll out. Forward, replace and roll out. So then we're back in our start position, we've got a double hand hold. So from our normal hold, we'll just show you that one more time. We've got back, replace and roll in, and forward, replace and roll out. I'm sure you're familiar with that bit, okay? We'll show you that whole thing one more time for part one, and then it's the followers turn. Get ready, followers. So we've got side, close, side, tap, side, close, promenade, kick, forward, forward, side, kick, backward, side, forward, tap, back, replace, forward, forward, replace, and back. And then it's followers turn. Are you ready, followers? Right, we're going to turn it around so oh. followers you get a better view. The world's the other way around now, isn't it? So while the leader's starting uh, left foot to the side, obviously followers you're going to going to start right to the side. The first part is like a mirror image. So you're going to dance right to the side, side, close, side, and then tap with the left foot. Keep that foot free, just a little tap. And then we go the opposite direction to your left. Side, close, side, and then a little kick with the right foot. And now as James said, we're in promenade position. We're going to dance a zigzag from here. So we go forward, forward, side, and a little kick. And then we dance backwards on the left foot, side, forward, and then we square up to face each other and dance a little tap. There you go, let's do that again. The first two bars are hopefully pretty straightforward. So starting with your right foot, you go side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, and kick. 
as in promenade position. And then we dance the zigzag with a kick in the middle. So we go forward, forward, side, kick, backward, side, forward, tap. Okay, let's do that again. You getting it? Good. So here we go with the right foot, lead us with the left. Here we go. Side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, and kick. Forward, forward, side, kick, backward, side, forward, tap. And now to the last bit, the rolling in and the rolling out. So follow us, you're going to dance backwards on the right foot, back, replace, and as you're nearly closing your feet, you're going to turn to the left under the arm here and change weight to your right foot. Now you've got the left foot free and you're going to dance backwards side and roll out. So you're going to turn to the right. So you go back, replace, and then under the arm, there's only one way you can turn here to the right and close. And then hopefully you still face your partner. Oh, that was lucky. Let's just do the last bit together again. So you go right foot back, so you go back, replace, and then you turn left under the arm, close, and then you go left foot back, back, replace, turn under to the right, and then close. Okay, so that's on a quick, quick, slow, all of the rhythm is the same. So we go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Did you get that? Brilliant. Let's do the whole section together. So from the beginning, here we go, starting with the right foot for the followers, left foot for the leaders. And side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, little kick. Forward, forward, side, kick, backward, side, forward, tap. Back, replace, and close. Back, replace, and close. Very good. Show it one more time with a count. Oh, yes, okay. All counting eights. So, should be easy. So, here we go. And there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so on count eight, you normally just tap or kick. Definitely don't change weight on count eight or four. That doesn't matter. Mm. Are we ready for part two? I think we should explain about the arms first. Oh, the arms, yes. We've got some arms involved, haven't we? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start in our normal hold. Not too complicated there. And we're actually going to maintain that for the first part of this section. For our side, close, side, tap. Side, close, side, little kick. So there, remember the feeling of being in promenade position. We maintain the hold in its normal position there as we're in promenade. And then we've got forward, forward, side, step. Oh, I nearly missed my kick, then kick, and then backward side, forward and tap. So all of that section is in our normal hold. Now we're going to change that to a double hand hold. There it goes. We've got back, replace, leader's left hand comes up, right hand goes down. You're bringing that left hand in across yourself. There's a health warning here. Just watch the follower's right elbow very carefully as it comes close past your nose and then step in and then bring this hand right down in front. There is time for that. It's not that super fast. And you'll be able to bring that hand down and then step, replace, you lift the hand up, we go back underneath the archway for the followers and then you're in your double hold, double hand hold there. Okay, I nearly missed my kick, didn't I? Should we show that one more time? You can have a look at the arm styling. So we're in our normal hold first. We've got side, close, side. Tap, side, close, side. There's the kick. One, two, three. There's the other kick. One, two, three. Then the tap. Change the hold of a handhold over the top. Step, replace, back under the arm. Tap. Okay? So then you've got your double handhold. We'll show that the other way around. So, and again, ready. And side, close, side, tap. Side, close, side, kick. Forward, forward, side. Kick, backward, backward, forward, tap. Back, replace, rolling in, and step, replace, rolling out, tap. So there we go with part one. We've shown the leader steps, the follower steps, and our hand connections as well. So now we're into part two. We're gonna start part two in exactly the same format. So we show the leader steps first, 
follow a step second, and then we'll show you how it all connects together. So we're going to start with a side close side. So if you set up like we are here, we're going to start leaders with your left foot and a side close side to your left for side close side tap. In that position, you're going to dance a back basic, turning, and we want to end up facing sideways, progressing down the room. So if you have a little look, we're going to dance back, replace, turn side. Okay, so at that point, we'll be facing completely 180 from where we started. We'll do that little bit again from the beginning, so you can see. So we started side, close, side, left foot. We've got side, close, side, tap. And then you're dancing your back basic over turn 180. Back, replace, turn, side. So all being well, you're on your right foot now. Now from here, we're going to carry on with two side, close, side actions. And to dance those, First, we make half a turn and do side, close, side, tap. And then we make another half a turn and side, close, side, tap. So far, so good. We're going to square up at the end of that one and then dance a back replace and a turn under the arm. So back, replace, turn under. And then we're going to pick up a cross double handhold and dance a side, close, side up the room. Side, close, side, tap. Don't worry too much about the arms at the moment. We'll come on to that in a second. So as our steps, leaders, we'll show you those steps one more time as leader. We're starting side, close, side, remember, and then the overturned hip twist or cross body lead, depending on how you want to call it. So we've got side, close, side, tap, back basic, over turn to the side, then we make half a turn, side, close, side, half turn, side, close, side, square up. And then we've got back, replace, turning in, and side, close, side, tap. Did you survive up to there? Very so. good, right, follow us. Follow us, now your turn. So um, we in a double hand hold facing each other and you finish with the right foot free, previous section. So we're going to dance to the side. So we go side, close, side, another tap. You're going to turn a little bit to the right. And now we're going to go past your partner onto your partner's left side. And you dance forward, side, side, and a little tap. And as you're tapping, we're actually going to turn halfway. And now we do the side, close, side to your right. Side, close, side. On the tap, we turn. And now with the left foot. Side, close, side. And then we just turn to square up. So that's a little bit less than before. Good. And then from here, you're going to dance back, replace, and turn to the left, which is a little bit like you started the previous salsa section. Uh, with the rolling in. So you dance back, replace and roll in, but let go of the lower hand and turn completely to face your partner. And then you dance side, close, side with the left foot. Side, close, side, tap. There you go, that's all there is to it for the section two for the followers. Don't panic, we'll do it again. So start with the right foot, we go side, close, side, little twist. And then you dance right foot, sorry, left foot forward. Here we go. Forward, side, side. And then we turn. We go side, close, side, turn. Side, close, side, square up. Then we dance right foot back. For the back, replace, turn and then face your partner and go left foot to the side. Side, close, side, tap. How are you getting on? All right? Marvellous. Right, one more. A little bit faster, you think? Yeah. <laughs> so here you go with the right foot and side, close, side, little twist, forward, side, side. Now turn to the right, side, close, side, turn to the left, side, close, side, square up, right foot back, back, replace, turn under completely and left foot side, close, side, tap. Very good. Now, um, most of it's pretty straight, straightforward with the hands, so we're maintaining double hand hold, a part of the last part. So from here, when we do the salsa, 
leaders, you're going to lift your left hand up to let your partner go under, and you're going to let go of the lower hand. And now as she turns, you pick up your right hand and put her right hand into yours. And we're going, going to join the left hands as well, but lower down. Okay? So you're going to have that sort of hand hold, and then just down side, close side, like this. Okay, let's show you that again. So dance back, replace, turn under, let go of the lower hand, join right, right and hold, and left, left, and then side, close, side, tap. Mm. Very good, did you get that? Don't worry followers, this is actually for the leaders. <laughs> All the pressure. The All pressure. the pressure. <laughs> right, we show you that um, one more time, together from both sides. So here we go, and side, close, side, turn, forward, step, side, half turn, side, close, side, half turn, side, close, side. Just square up, back, replace, turn under, change hands here, side, close, side, tap. Okay, one more time from this direction. So the double hand hold, ladies and left foot follows right, and Side, close, side, tap, she comes in front, step, step, side, now turn. And side, close, side, half turn, side, close, side, just score up, back, replace, she turns under, change hands, right to right, side, close, side, tap. Right, so hopefully you survived and you practiced part one and part two of our sweet bay salsa. So now it's time for part three. Mm. Leaders first. That's the last part as well, so better get that bit right. So we finished with this right to right and left to left hand hold like this. You might remember that's where we were at the end of part two. Leaders, you've got your left foot free. Followers, you've got the right foot free. And leaders, you're going to do a side close side tap and a side close side tap. There's more going on here because with a lead, you're going to circle your right hand dancing in a clockwise direction, and then you'll circle it going in an anti-clockwise direction. So we've got one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. Okay, we'll show you that again since we're in the right place anyway. So it's leaders your left foot, side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, tap. Here we go. One, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. In that position, we're then going to change back to our normal hold, and it's not a side close side, it's a side close forward. Side close forward, and then we're sort of marking out half a little box shape there, so we better complete our box. We're going to dance side close and backwards. Side close backwards. And there we've got some very good news because you've made it to the end. Yay! And then it's back to the beginning. Well done. We'll show Yay, you that bit like again. That. Show you that bit again. So we're all tangled up. We've got right to right and left to left handhold there. Side, close, side, tap twice, leaders. And side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, normal hold. Side, close, forward, and side, close, backward, tap. Should we do that one more time and then it's follower's turn. Here we go. Leader's left foot and side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, tap, side, close, forward and side, close, backward, tap. You've made it, leaders. You can have a rest. Well, not quite. It's follower's turn. <laughs> right. So we turn around so we have a better view. So in our double hand hold, right to right, left to left. Uh, now you're going to turn under both arms, so try not to leave the left hand low. So as the followers starting to turn, leaders, you're going to have to pick that hand up as well. Followers, you got a three-step turn. You're going to dance uh, a full turn while you're dancing. So you go to the right, side, close, and then side. She'll be facing your partner again in a tap. And now do the same to the left. So you turn, complete turn over three steps. So you go side, turn left, close, side, and then tap. At which point we're going to untangle the hands. But we'll show you that again first. 
So you're turning to the right, you start with the right foot, you take your right shoulder back and do the full turn until you see your partner again. Here we go, side, close, side, tap. Now with the left foot, turn to the left side, close, side, tap. Did you get that? Okay, one more, a little bit faster, starting with the right foot, turning to the right, and side, close, side, tap to the left side, close, side, tap. Now we're going to untangle our hold and go back to your normal hold, and you just dance side, close, and then backwards, and then side, close, forward, so marking that square with your partner. So you go side, close, back, and our left foot, side, close, forward. You can do a little tap there after the back step and forward step. That will just mark your four and eight. Right, let's just do the um, whole section three again from beginning. So you start off the right foot, turning under, and side, close, side, tap now to the left side, close, side, normal hold to the right side, close, backward, and side, close, forward. And now, we're back to beginning. Mm. If we can remember that far back. <laughs> you think you can? So the only little note on the arm styling there was um, when we're leading those turns underneath the arms, leaders remember to raise both hands up in the air. So you've got one high already, you'll feel that you've got your right hand up in the air, the left hand's low, but we're gonna actually pick both of them up to make that turn underneath. So make sure, under we go, both hands high. There's a little cue there in the wrong direction to wind us up to go the other way. One, two, three, and then very quickly into a nice, smart, normal hold. Once you get there, you'll be fine. Okay, so a little bit to do with the arms, and then we're done. Mm. Right, let's combine the whole lot together. Right, okay, there's We're our gonna challenge. we go from the leader's perspective first. So we started side, close, side, and then we had our kick and zigzag sections first. And side, close, side. Tap, side, close, side, promenade, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, tap. And then we're into the rolling in and rolling out. Back, replace, rolling in, and forward, replace, rolling out. And, and then we did a side, close, side. We're coming into our section two. Side, close, side, slight hip twist feeling or cross body lead, overturn, half a turn. Quick, quick, slow, half turn. And then we did side, close, side twice. We are just gonna shuffle back a bit. Da, 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 I know you won't have seen that, I did it so quickly. We go side, close, side, side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, tap. We square up, and now we're going to do our turn back under the arm. And quick, quick, slow. Now we're going to form that right to right handhold, left to left handhold as we do a normal side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, tap. We're turning one way, one, two, three, tap, and the other way, two, three, normal hold, side, close into the box, and side, close, box, tap. And that's all there was to it. Make should, it. Should we do it once more? Okay. Right, perhaps we'll go the other way this time. We'll see if we can squeeze it in. That'll be a bit of a challenge, but we'll have a little go. So we're dancing side, close, side first, and side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, kick. Walk, 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 kick, walk, 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 rolling in, back, replace, rolling in, and step, replace, rolling out, and side, close, side, tap, quick, quick, slow, side, close, side, side, close, side, tap, side, close, side, and back, replace, turn under, change the hand, side, close, side, now turning, one, two, three, tap, a one, two, three, normal hold, side, close, step, and side, close, step, tap. Did you make it? <gasps> right. Okay. I think that's all there is to it. So make sure you're familiar with those actions because we're gonna do it with the music in a moment. The music is a little bit faster. So it might be a shock to start with. Pause the video if you need to, practice the steps a little bit, have a bit of fun with them because um, they're quite nice bits of choreography and if you do some basic salsa, you can throw all that into basic salsa as well. Should we try with the music? I think we should. 
Right, so with the music, we're going to start over here. We're going to see if we can fit in one set. And if it goes really well, I'll turn around, we'll show you in the other direction as well. So get ready, here you go, we're going to count you in. Okay, start after eight, leaders left, follow is right. Five, six, seven, eight. Three and side, close side, kick, step two, three, kick, step two, three, tap, rolling in. And rolling out, sideways, side, close side, and coming in front, and side, close side, side, close side, turn under, and right, right, and hold, turn under, turn under, and square, side, close step, side, close step. We normally start here again from beginning, but we run out of space, so we're going to turn around and show you one more time. This time with the count. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, 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 one, two, three. Five, six, seven. So there we go, a wonderful sweet bass salsa. We hope you got all that. And we hope it's useful to have a little look back through the video and you can get those bits that perhaps you're finding a bit more difficult and you can have a little review of them. So thank you to Ian and Sue Webster who first put that one together. I think it's a nice fun dance to try. I think when you get the opportunity in the ballrooms, you'll be able to get that one going and have a bit of fun with it. Certainly. Hopefully you liked the video and just give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Look forward to it. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.